full and wide. You look at every other version of the Bible, it says pour it on. This right here, the King James, and the Greek word says poured in the oil and wine. Let's look at this right here. Yeah. That good Samaritan, <coughs> he's walking down the road to Jericho. That road going to Jericho was always full of thieves. It was like going to going down to Vegas. You won't careful out there on Vegas streets, you're going to get beat up, you're going to get robbed, and they're probably going to find you in a dumpster. That's what it was, a typical mindset of going down to Jericho. That's how bad them roads was. Because there was a lot of people that traveled them roads that had a lot of money. Because that's where a lot of things went into Jericho that had money. But he came by the old, old Leroy over here on this road. Old Leroy was beat up bad. He looked at Leroy. He had compassion on him. He sat there and teared up. He seen how bad Leroy was hurting. How deep he was wounded. How he was wounded from the sins of this world. From the thief that came to steal, kill, and destroy him. And he reached down, and he picked him and Leroy up, and he helped him up. But yet Leroy, that good Samaritan, he wrapped his wounds up. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He loved on him. That's the king, the Jesus Christ, and the same thing for you. Yes. And then when he said, son, you want me to save you? I can help you. And you say, yeah, I'll make you the Lord of my life. He pours in. Frankie, this is good right here. He pours in the Holy Spirit, the oil that lives in power, the, the, the dunamis that lives inside of you. Yes. This is something to shout about him. Amen. The same thing as the Good Samaritan that helped him and loved on him. And he took him over here. Let's see what else he did. I have a seat right now. Let's look at what he said. I'm telling you, hey, it's not as bad as it seems. Yes. It's not as bad as it seems. He took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out a pence and gave him to him. It said right there that he took him to an inn. Said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, yeah. I will repay thee. Right. Praise God. Yes. That's something right there to shout about. Yes, I'm going to tell you this right here. No matter what you're going through, hey, the devil can fight you all day long. He can try to tear your family up. Yes. He can try to tear your children up. He can try everything he wants to do and drag you down the road. But he's already defeated. Amen. It's not yes. what it looks like. That's right. It's not as bad as it seems. Yes. Think about this. He took him to an inn. He took him to an inn. Got him up. What's an inn? It's a home away from a home right. trying to get home. Yes. That's good right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's good right there. Thank you, Jesus. It is a home away from home. Trying to get back home. Yes. Wow, he took him to an inn. And took care of him. He didn't even say he stayed with him a night. Remember when you first got saved, the Holy Spirit poured on you? And I'm telling you, you felt like you could run all up run to the east coast or west coast. And won't nothing going to touch you. I'm talking about poured on you. The next morning, he told that innkeeper. He said, here's some money. Jesus says, here, I'm leaving you a comforter. Strengthen you. I'm going to prepare a place for you where many mansions. Yes, hallelujah. That's something to shout about. Yes, it is. That's Amen. To be happy about. That's something to grab your families and rejoice in. That you're going to a place of no more sorrow, no more tears. Yes. You ain't got no more problems when you're going to heaven. So I'm coming. Yes. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm going to get back on Leroy for a minute. Oh, Leroy, can you imagine being in that man's position? Oh, Leroy, he wakes up in that Ian Franklin talking about, man, what's happened to me? And that innkeeper, keeper, boy, I'm fixing to take off running. Hey, and he says, all these sores, I'm cut. And the innkeeper says, son, you better now than you was. He said, you, can you just imagine Leroy? What happened to him? I, I got imagine, a deal. No, ask me the question. What happened to him? What happened to you? What happened to you? What happened to you? Son, you don't know what happened to you? Let me show you what happened to you. Come here. Walk over here, Leroy. I want to tell you what happened to you. I want you to look at this road right here. You see that road out here? Look out to the road. That was a, that was a man. He came down that road. 
They can. There was a man that came down that road that seen you in trouble. Knew that you couldn't save yourself. Yes. They gave his life for you. Yes. Oh. Amen. You yes. Home, and you were you going home. And what I'm giving you, no man can take from yes. you. Yes. Amen. Man, the man who can brought you home. And you, I know what you think. Hey. I, w I wish I could meet, you, meet that man. I wish I could meet that man. Are you going to meet that man again? Because he says he's coming back. Yes. Takes me to take care of you. Thank the you, Lord Jesus. is coming back. Yes. That's something to give God praise for. Don't sit on there about this about a, a situation. Give God praise for it. That the King of Kings is gonna step out on that cloud. You ain't gonna. He says he's gonna say, "Children, come back home." But I'm telling you, if you ain't right with the Lord tonight, and He steps back out of them clouds, I'm telling you this: you ain't going. Jesus Christ is the only way. Yes. And it don't matter what the situation is. He can save you. No matter how little or how big the situation, you serve an almighty God that can reach down and show you compassion. When this world don't want to do nothing else for you, when this world wants to turn on you, and this world don't want to help you, there's a man who can that will give you compassion upon your life. And when these people, when these little boys want to run you up and down the road, when these little girls want to run you up and down the road, I'm telling you this, Look at me, son. You got a man who can that'll say, hey, that's my boy. I love him. It ain't nothing going to happen to him. Right. He might go through it, but I'm going to tell you, I got him because the word of God says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Right. If you're feeling sick, hey, 39 stripes by your stripes for him Amen. because of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. I'm telling you, hey, he's coming back, Leroy. And I'm telling you, you ought to really take praise in God and take off running down that street because he's coming back to get you. He told me. He even paid me to help take care of you. Praise God. He even left something greater than anything in this world. Hallelujah. He even poured oil in you. Yes. And put the Hill Holy Spirit inside you. So when you're weak, you're your strongest. Yes. When you don't think no one else cares, you can pray. To our Heavenly Father. Amen. A holy God that cannot lie to you. That's what Jesus Christ can do for you. Yes, hallelujah. You should. That's thy neighbor. Yes. Amen. It ain't the person that lives beside you. <coughs> it ain't the person, your best friend. It's that stranger out there in that street that needs to hear about Jesus Christ. Yes. It's about that stranger that's in a situation that they ain't got no help. And they, they're, they're helpless to themselves for it. It ain't the person that's sitting out there that keeps on bringing on stuff on themselves. It ain't, that ain't the Good Samaritan story. The Good Samaritan was, it was a person that was helpless, that didn't bring on all this stuff on themselves, that was trying to just to get from one location to another location. Think about it. And that man that had compassion came walking down that road. Do you have that compassion today? Do you have that compassion to look down on that ground? You see Leroy on that ground. Would you show compassion upon him? Or would you do like a priest? I got to hurry up and get to church. I'm going to be late if I stop and help him. Then all the church people is going to talk about me because I ain't there on time. They'll be looking for another preacher. So that priest across the road. Then the Levite, he just wants to judge him. I can't help him. He done that to himself. But a man came down that road the same way Jesus Christ came down your broken road. Yes. And found you laying in that ditch. And reached way down and picked you up. Yes. Wrapped you in his righteousness. Poured in his Holy Spirit inside of you. Thank you, Lord. That's something to praise God for. Yes, amen. You ever have a question? What thy neighbor stands for? Jesus Christ said, Love thy neighbor. neighbor. Yes. That was a neighbor. That was a man in trouble. If you will, please stand to your feet.
When times seem rough and this world don't, you just feel like you don't belong in this world no more. You don't belong in this world because you're only a pilgrim passing through. Yes. And if you're a saved child of God tonight, Jesus Christ had took you to an end. He took you for away from home, from that first state you was at to a home waiting to go home. Think about this. But if you don't have Jesus Christ tonight, and you can't say, the preacher, I'm not for sure. I don't know for sure if I go to heaven or I go to hell. It's time tonight that you make for sure you know the man that came down that road when your life was at all worst and you accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Because he's the only one that can pour that oil inside of you. He's the only one that can save your soul. I can't save your soul. Nobody else in this church can save your soul. The, the President of the United States can't save your soul. But there's a man who can. His name is Jesus Christ. For sure. But I'm telling you this. The Son of God came to save your soul. That's something to get happy about, people. It's not as bad as it seems. One day, we ain't going to have a tear. One day, these problems won't be near. One day, these problems will cause you no fear. Think about this. 